Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science. So now what do we want to do next? We've basically got most things ready and I think a bit messed up a bit with one of those quests in the previous episode. But I want to put down the quarry and unfortunately I messed up a bit there. Because really I probably should have kept those under pearls for the um for the ender chests. They would be more useful for us at the moment, I think. Anyway, too late, done. I'll have to make some more ender pearls. So we also have to make some nick. We want to upgrade that machine. So let's do this first. So what do we need? We need some iron ingots. We need some actually not iron ingots. We need basically take 64 of those. That'd probably be too many. Let's take 32 to start with. And then we need some nickel. Now we haven't got any nickel in ingots in our system at the moment. We've got we've got 24 buckets of um, nickel, so we've got plenty of nickel in the system. So we can actually basically take multi nickel bucket here and we'll make some ingots. Um, let's put those in there like that. Let's see what happens in here. Of course, we've got 96 iron from previous time. Flush it out. Oh, still not just too quick. So we get uh, plenty of iron ingots now. And we're starting to get some nickel. So I think the recipe for this is 10 iron to 6 nickel will give me, I think, 3. three. So we wait for the 12 to come out here like that. We can go and decompose those. Because the idea next is to upgrade the farm in the box machine. Let's do that. So we put those into there and decompose these. And of course, I'm getting all these effects. One I haven't done yet is actually aspirin, and I really intended to do aspirin because aspirin's pretty cool. If I want half those, I don't really want to do it like this. So like a stack of those, we can come over here and set up the recipe for this. Get rid of the glass recipe. So it is. Um, 10 of these, let's split this into 6, and then 6 nickel, should give us some invar, so let's get all of that, we've got 6 ingots, that's not a great deal because we're short of iron basically, and we're going to need quite a lot of nickel in thermal, thermal expansion requires quite a lot of nickel so I don't mind making too much for that so let's see if we can get out of there so now we've got 32 and i was just short of a bit of nickel for to make some more but i think we'll leave that for the time being because what we can now do is we can then upgrade this machine here so let's take let's just check this is empty because everything's going to come back here There's a tiny mini bit of water in here maybe i can make this can i make this as an output I oh, I don't think I can push the water out of here, that's a shame. I wanted to push the water out, but we can't, so we're going to lose that water, I think. So we'll take this with us, because we can only upgrade this. We can't upgrade this in place, we can only upgrade this in the crafting grid. So let's have a look at this. So now, the uses of this is basically what we need is a Electrum gear and Invar ingots. Now Electrum, I haven't made that either. We need to make an Electrum gear and we need four of those. So, Electrum ingot. There's different recipes for this, but don't, that's Foundry and we want the Thermal Foundation one, I guess. So what do we need for this? Probably is a recipe for this, yep. So we need eight silver and f eight gold. And we haven't got any ingots for silver either, so let's get that done. But we will have enough silver and how many, how many gold have we got in here? 30, so I think that four will do. So we should get eight out of that, which will give us enough for two gears to upgrade two machines. And so we need some I didn't put it back tonight. It's molten nickel, so we need some molten silver. Let's put remove that from here now. Oh 
I've probably made far too much, huh? Yep, I have. Well, let's flush it out while we're thinking about it. Yep, as you can see. And then we can put into here some silver. Like that, put the silver bucket back in here. So we need about four ingots, which we've already got. So let's just clear that off. Made six. I'll leave those to to make. What we'll do now is we'll take these and decompose these. So I really want four, don't I? That'll give me uh, sixteen. That'll give me sixty-four. Of each of these two and then we can clear up off this one and put in that so we need eight of each so that's half of that 16 exactly oh I needed eight didn't I get rid of those take half of that there we get our electrum so that should make us about eight ingots oh five is that no it should make some more than that what's this problem it's got eight here and eight here ah six. Oh, eight. huh never mind one of those clicky things huh so what we can then do with this is we can then smelt this into liquid but that's actually going to be difficult Because getting it into here is going to be tricky. How much iron have we got in here? 64. I'm just thinking, trying to figure out how to do this. At this stage. So we've got a bucket here. We can basically remove this but I don't need to because it's got nowhere to go because we've filled up on liquids already so we can actually pull it into this side here like that which might actually happen but then the trouble is getting that fluid into here is difficult because I can't do it ah but there's another recipe so that's what I was thinking about that of course I can use the recipe with an ironing in the middle so electron games will be like this I'll take two actually like that so now we should be able to upgrade this machine so where's it gone to so now we get a hardened one in fact do you know I've been a weeny bit daft here, haven't I? Let's just take another two of those. Put the 64 nickel. I should put the nickel away. We've got two silver. So what I should do is to make some signal. So where is that recipe for that one? Here we go, thermal foundation, and I reckon I can do that as well. So 10 redstone, that's all my smelter. Yes, I can. So I can make some iron oxide, some silver, and some copper, and that'll make some signal. So we should be able to upgrade this machine to two levels higher. Because we need it, some gear, and we need some of that. And I probably reckon my oxygen's a bit low. Let's just check that. Oops, wrong one. I've got lots of our saplings on me. Let's put some of these saplings away. Don't need all. Oh yes, of course, because I took them, took the machine out, didn't I? So let's take one of these speed upgrades here. I think it's the this one, secondary reception core is the first one we need, yes. So let's go and put this back again now. And of course I left my saplings there. So this time we should have another slot here, which we can put this augment in so it makes it go faster. So we can put that into there and then of course I need some water and some saplings and it'll go faster. 
anyway I don't want to do that this episode particularly what I want to do let's have a look at what's going on in here I should be making some ender poles I am but very slowly and I want some chests let's get some chests out of here I'm going to get three and you'll see why So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to mine my way down here and I'm going to start it so it goes around from basically this corner over here uh, I've forgotten something else very basic oh. what I forgot was some redstone torches so we need some wood we need some sticks actually will be fine and now some redstone got four redstone torches for these markers here so we've got everything we need except for fuel and I've also got too much iron or broken on I don't know where I've got that from probably from here actually let's shift that back in again and get the rest of this going at the same time that's empty. Oh, they're both empty. So we've done everything we need, or we can. Um, so let's have a look at this. Now, we often use coal. And you see here, the burn time for this is 1600, and the carbon value for this is 1600. Now, if we go and have a look at carbon, because if we put one of these into the chemical decomposer, we get eight carbon. Now, the burn time for this is 6,000. So it burns a lot longer. But I think we use carbon for each one. So we'll do it that way. Right, okay, so we now can set up the quarry. And it's been a long time since I've done build craft, but shouldn't be too difficult to do now you always have to do one block out so what I wanted to do is to actually go down here let me just check before I start bashing away at these things that is the end of the building here um, it is indeed so that is the end of the building so let's put up some of this dirt here so I can jump up we need about three actually easier to do on the side and to only to do it over there one over here then we should be able to jump out of here like that so what I want to do is I want to set it up so that the first place is here this is the corner of the thing so it'll actually it'll start mining from this this line outwards so what we do is we put down a torch like this and beside the torch we'll put down a marker which I've got with me as well, it's midday so that's good and I've got enough like that and you see this goes in 64 actually goes in 64 in every direction so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along here and put the next marker on this corner over here like this I'll take the hammer because I want to knock some of this away because we You see, it just happens that the building itself is 64 wide. So let's put this moon rock down here like this. Put the other landmark here and another torch like that. So now we've basically got most of the blocks we need. In fact, we've got all we need actually, as it happens. We only ever need three torches for a quarry. Where's it going to? It's actually a bit high up. I'm not exactly sure which block it's under. This one, I reckon. So let's put some blocks down here. That looks good. Put one on the side here, like that. And then we can put down the, the marker here and the torch. 
and then that actually all links up. So what we then do is we come to the first corner that we want to have. And the first corner I want to have is actually on the top left hand side here. I do need to build this out a bit because I haven't done enough yet. Like this. So we just need a little bit of space for the uh, thing. And then what you do now is you, I'll get an empty hand just in case. I'm going to right click this and then when I right click this landmark it goes red and you get a red border all the way around I think should happen. And maybe I need to put one down here. Well let's just do it because to be honest with you it should be red all the way around. Now maybe I needed to put this one and leave the last one over there. Messed that up a bit, didn't I? Never mind. There's always a solution to the problem, generally. Might need a bit more dirt. Let's just pick up some more dirt. A bit turf. Oh, looks like I'm right placing think that will do yes go out one more here like that so I'll put the last landmark down here and I'll put redstone torch down here so this time it will definitely join up um, so I should have done that one and left the far one the opposite corner as being free so we're gonna have to go around and pick these up anyway that and I should be able to right click that now we get a border all the way around so what we can then do is we can put the quarry down the quarry needs to be facing this just like that when it does it it knocks the, the markers off so what we need beside the quarry is a power source so we'll put the stony generator down here like this I've not configured this yet but we'll put the capacitor in there now it burns at 300% so if we put one piece of coal in here, like that, it's going to start throwing away, oh, not throwing away, it's going to start feeding this thing. In fact, what I want to do is here's, I'm going to put a couple of chests on here as it happens, because that's where the items are going to go into, like that. And I can actually put a chest down here, and I can put the carbon into there. And as you see, it's starting to make its little frame what we have to do is go around here and pick up all of the, the landmarks they will get knocked off and thrown away as you see I'm going to pick up the torches at the same time now later on in the game we're going to start playing with the quarry plus the quarry plus is a, a version of this exactly the same but better. Oops, I don't see the landmark and here where's it gone to? Put a piece of dirt down and double check that because I've put it around about block three. Well, it should be there, but it's not maybe they do disappear sometimes if you got it wrong. And you see the quarry is already working. Hopefully they haven't. Uh... There we go, that's the other one. This is that one over there. Take this one. Might even end up in the quarry as it happens. If the quarry picks it up. So now it's stopped because it's run out of fuel. So that was one piece of coal. all turfs. Turf works at the same sort of speed. Turf and dirt are at the same sort of speed. So you see we've got already three stacks of moon turf. Let's get rid of that and one stack of moon dirt. Let's put another piece of coal in here like this. I want to What I want to do is I want to compare this against um, against eight carbon, uh, eight carbon which is what you get from one piece of coal. I 
me see if you've ever I've seen these things before. They work in a sort of go around, just basically taking off a layer by a layer. And that's finished. So we got uh, actually not so much this time. One stack 52. Let's try the eight carbon in the engine. See what happens in here now. See, it's generating 20,000 RF per tick with a burn rate of three times as much. But of course, that is a lot better. So let's come over here and let's configure this and pull from this side here. See, this just seems to be lasting longer. And we've already got one stack and 32. So it looks like carbon is by far the best way of powering this thing. Actually, what I want is moon dirt. Oops. Turf, moon turf, moon turf. It's all moon turf, isn't it? What I want to do is just quickly build. Oh, actually, we'll go around and pick up the, the cactus and plant some more of them while we're here. And it looks like I'm going to have to make some more sand as well for this because we can then basically um, put this into a crucible for water just like we did in. Uh, forever stranded or any other like the helio game I got some more carrots as well empty hands best so maybe now I've got a full I'm keeping away from the cactus I don't want to get pricked as it were so we now have enough for our 16 here, might as well take the potatoes as well. So what I'm doing here is just simply right-clicking these because I've got the magnet that's pulling them towards me. So I don't have to worry about dropping anything. So we've got enough now to fill up this, which is great. I would just need some more sand now, or I could take one of these blocks of sand from here. Probably a good idea. Let this stuff grow up. So if I put the other block of sand down here, put the cactus on it. Like that. Come back inside. Let's change the oxygen tank while we're here. Now next thing we can do is we can start to sieve this dirt. Now of course we've got some transfer nodes. We can actually put the transfer nodes so we can actually fill it in. So if I, for example, fill it in, not the right word, uh, fill it. I haven't, got any tank, I haven't got any chests with me, never mind. I also wanted to get some carbon for the quarry in so let's do the carbon bit first. I've already got some carbon made, plenty of it. In fact, you're I think I need about two and that will fill a double chest so I'm not going to take too much of that but I will put the into there score is over here isn't it but what I'll do since I've got plenty of moon dirt well I'll have plenty of moon dirt shortly I'll make a little bridge between here and the quarry I can reach it, that is. Nope, too far away. That might do for the time being, so I can reach that again. Just quickly have a little bridge so we don't have to go down all the time. reach that without any problem. Oops. Change it to moon turf, it doesn't matter what we use for this. There we go. So we can simply walk along there and I jump up because it's only three high. So now we've got plenty of materials. Let's put the carb two stacks of carbon into there. And they should get in fact they got pulled stack at a time, that's fast. So this will carry on mining and it'll probably fill up this double chest without any problem. The trouble with um, build craft 
these BCN or BC builders chorus as they um, basically um, take far too much. So let's just fill this in again. If, no, sorry, I'm talking rubbish. They don't take too much. What they do is they throw the stuff away. When it's um, if the thing gets full. In fact, what I've got to do next. I haven't claimed my reward for my pulverized iron, have I? What I'm doing here is I'm just going back like this. Because we're three blocks higher, so we need to go a little bit further along. In the hole. Let's get out of the hole. Then we can just simply walk across, don't have to mess around. At the moment we're going to have to keep coming back until we've got the ender pearls to make the ender chests. So, right, now, I, at the end of the last episode we made some um, pulverized iron, which I need to like, take this out of here like that. I've got all this moon dirt and moon turf, let's put that away for as well. Sort my inventory, press R. Moon dirt, let's shift those into them. the rest of this is moon turf. And I need a chest. Just got enough chests at the moment for, the, for what we need to do. And I'm going to put that chest, I think I'm going to put it here, like that. Because if I don't put it there, I can't open it if it's too high. What we're going to do is put a transfer node on top of this like this. We're going to put a pipe between here and here, like that, and it should be able to simply then feed this with whatever we've got in here. And at the same time, well, next time I'm going to have to take a, a transfer node and take the stuff out of here because it's going to fill up, but it's not going to fill up straight away. So we've got all our carbon done now. So it's, those three stacks gave me two stacks 50, so now I wonder how many it was. Um, yep, let's put the. I wanted these two, didn't I? Let's get those decomposed. 32. Because what we would also like to do is to upgrade the other machine. So now I've got four of those. And it was signal we wanted, which is quite a lot more complicated. So, hold on a second. Let me just check that quests, detect and submit that. And I've got 64 wood and 64 snow. Snow is great because it's the oxygen supply. Let's put the snow in here. We've got plenty of snow at the moment. I'll put it in here now. What else can we do? Carbon, that's for them. Put that into there for the time being. Landmines, I lost one landmine and I lost two torches. Can't have done. They must be there somewhere. I probably didn't pick them up. Um, so that was the quest. So that was done. So we look. Next quest now is submission station. We've got to build an RF submission station. We'll get, what's it say here? We have the basic matter manipulation chemistry systems online. Now we can try to restore the more advanced systems. Rerouting power, standby, failing and analysing. Oh, it's that simple. I have no power. I can, I can reroute. You need to manually power my mainframe to do this. What do we go down? You must create an interface to the first and hope you've saved some keratin. Well, we haven't used the keratin yet, so let's have a look. An RF submission station. I don't think this one is too difficult. So, so that's just four redstone and four iron around a, a submission station, an object submission station, which is one glass, one chest, and one book. Can we do that? We can. We just need a, we just need a piece of glass, and I've got to go and get, yep, bucket. Um, I will be very glad when I've got this cobblestone automated. 
In fact, there's no reason why I can't now, because I should just build some transfer nodes and that'll do it. See, this is actually working anyway, but cobblestone feeding into this cobblestone is a bit of a pain at the moment, so we'll just do it this way first of all, like that. But to do that, I need to go a little bit further. I could start doing it now, because what we need is some liquid transfer nodes. We need one per crucible. So what am I doing? I need to decompose this to make the glass. Where's it gone to? There. So the glass is, where's it gone to here? 16. that then we can make our submission station I think or the object submission station and then the RF submission station like that so that's way actually and just do this one I think so that will should complete another quest so we now get 64 propane now I think done so that's opened up another two quests. Lindsay has power. So what we need here is we need cellulose and carbon. Well, that's fairly straightforward. But I'm going to do that next time. Because we have now run out of time for this episode. I like to keep them about 30 minutes. So until next time, bye for now.